Okay, so looking at this first graph here, what I did is I um, graphed these points that are on the line. They're on this line right here. And we see that we have, this is 1 half, 20, half 20. Then we have 1, 40. Then we have 1 and a half, 60. And then we have, uh, let's see, what do we have here? 2, 80. And then 2 and a half, 100. And then we have 3, 120. Okay, so those are our lines, and those are our points that's on the line. And if we look in here, now we need to write an equation by looking at it. And so what we want to know is what do we do to x to get y? Well, if you notice on this one, to get 40, I would have to multiply by 40. 40 times 1 is 40. And same thing here. 40 times 2 is 80. So our equation is going to be 40 times x, or 40x, equals y. Because whatever you, you take 40, multiply whatever's in x, and you would get y. All right, so that's our first one. I'm going to go uh, down the page. Okay, I did the other one. I already put in the points there. So it was uh, 30, 10, 60, 20. And just in case you missed that, Notice that each one of these are 10. So if I go over 30, up 10, there's 30, 10. I go over 60, up to 20, 60, 20. I go over to 90, up to 30, 90, 30. And the other one's 120 to 40. Okay, so those are the points. And so now I need to write an equation. And if you notice on this one, we're actually decreasing. We're not increasing. So to go from 30 to 10, I'm going to have to divide. Okay, so what could I divide so I end up with 10? How about 3? Right? Three, 30 divided by 3 is 10. Same thing here. If I divide by 3, 60 divided by 3 is 20. 90 divided by 3 is 30. 120 divided by 3 is 40. So our equation is... Whatever's in X, I'm going to divide by 3, and that will give me Y. That will give me the in numbers for Y. All right, now let's go to the top. And on this top one right here, if you notice, the numbers increase on the X-axis by 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And so if I go over, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 1. And then I, let's see over here, this would be 120, 2, 180, 3, and 244. All right, so now I write my equation. And so what, oh, it looks like I have to divide again. I'm going from big to small. So I'm going to have to divide by something to get 1. What would I divide 60 by? Well, when I have to divide it by 60? 60 divided by 60 is 1. And um, how about this one here? If I divide by 60, 120 divided by 60 is 2. All right, and even this one here, 240 divided by 60, that would be 4. Because you have 6 and 24, 4 times. So what are we doing to this x's? To get y, we are dividing by 60. So that's our equation, x over 60 equals y. All right, let's scroll, let's go down the page. And if you'll notice, these are going, okay, these are just going by one. And on this side, it's going by 20s. So if I go over one, this is 60. And if I go over two, so one is 60, two is 120, three is 180, yada, yada. All right, so what do I do to this x to get y? It looks like I just multiply by 60. 60 times 1 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. 60 times 3. Okay, so what am I doing to x? I'm multiplying by 60. 60 times x, or 60x, equals y. And that is my equation. 
And that's how that works. Okay, now turning the paper over the back side. And you can see I've already, we did this in class. Uh, the question says, see, Trevor sees snowboarding shoes that cost $250 before the sale. And it says, uh, how much, how much do the shoes cost with the sale of 25%? So they cost $250 at first, and then they're going to go on sale 25%. What's it going to cost? All right, so I have my model here. It's $250. That means each one of these is going to be 25, that's 10%. This is what I'm going to subtract, 25% of it. And this is what it's going to cost me, whatever's left. And if I, um, this right here comes out to 62.50. How did I get that? Well, I just took 25% uh, of 250. So that's 0.25 times, and that's 62.50. This is 62.50 right here. All right, so if I take, I need to subtract that. So if I take 250, because 250, take away 62.5, make sure you see that, I will get 187.5. You have to add a zero and then do some borrowing. But it ends up 187.5. So that means that it will cost, and I didn't put it right here, the statement, but it is going to cost $187.50. That's how much it'll cost after we take away the 25%. It was $250, take 25% away, it ends up being $187.50. All right, let's go to the next one. Now, the next week, it's the same thing, except now they're going to reduce it by 20% of last week's price. Well, last week's price was $187.50. I'm going to put that right here, $187.50, $187.5. That was the last week's price. And now I'm going to go ahead and take away 20%. And whatever's left is how much it's going to cost me. So let's see. Um, that means in each of these boxes right here, it's 10%. You just move the decimal over. So it's going to be 18 0.75 in each box is 18.75. I'm just going to put a dot just to sim represent that it, it's in each box. I just didn't want to have to write them all in there. So 187, 18.75. All right, so we can add those two up if you want to 18.75 and 18.75. And if I do that here, 18.75 and 18.75, if I add those up, that will give me the 20%. And so by doing that, that would be give me zero, uh, borrow the one, so it's, add the one, so it's 15, 16, 17, and so that would be 37.50. Okay, so what is that telling us? That's telling us that this right here is 37.50. 50. Okay, so what I need to do is take 187, 50 minus that. Now, if you did not want to add these together, 18.75, 18.75, to find 20%, you would just take the total, 187.5 times 0 0.20, and it would give you the same answer. It would give you 37.50. All right, so all I need to do now is take 187.5 and subtract this. Okay, so if I write that down quickly, 187.50 minus 37.50 is $150. So that means it's going to be $150. I'm just going to write that down right here, $150. Okay, so that will be our price. All right, but you know what? There's another week to go. There's three weeks involved. First week, take away 25%. Then whatever you get, 
take away 20%. Then, whatever you get for your answer, which was $150, now we're just going to take away, it says here, take away 10%. Okay, so I will do that. I'll take away 10%. Well, 10% of this is 15, right? I move the decimal over one space, it's 15. I don't even need to calculate anything. So what I need to do is take 150 minus 15. So I'll do that quickly. If I take 150 and I subtract 15, that gives me 135. So my answer is $135. That will be your total price. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. And in case that isn't clear, um, remember we said this is 6250. This would be this part right here would be 187.50. That would be the cost. Over here, this was 3750. So that means if I subtract it from 187.50, I get $150. Okay, so then I take $150 and I take away 10% and that will give me $135. So this was $15 and this is um, $135. And there you go, there's your answer. Okay, going down below, it says uh, find the actual length for all three examples below. All right, so what we have for this example, it's two centimeters um, to five centimeters. In other words, on paper, it's two centimeters long, but actually in real life, it's five meters long. That's what that means. Just kind of zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Whoa, that's a little too much. Okay, so that's what it means. So now what we're trying to do is figure out, well, how much is four centimeters? So we make a proportion. We set it up. We say, well, look, if, uh, if two centimeters, two centimeters to five meters will be the same as four centimeters to something else that we're trying to find. Something with meters in it. Now notice how I have centimeters over meters, centimeters over meters. You have to keep the units the same. Now I could rearrange this. You can see the answer right now. I know you can. But uh, let me just rearrange this. To rearrange this, I could put the X on top and just move it over here. So it'd be like this. Okay, we've done lots of problems like, I'm sorry, we've done lots of problems like that. Now, hopefully you can see that five, two times something is four. That would, two times two is four. And five times two is 10. Now, if you cannot see that, you set up like this, this equation, and I would multiply by four because I want x by itself. I multiply both, both sides by four. That's gone. I have x by itself, and now I just have this. Five times four over two. Well, two goes in there twice. Five times two is 10. The answer is 10 meters. Okay, so that's the way, that's the way it works. All right, let's try the next one. Next one is three inches for four yards. So I set up like this, three inches for four yards, and I'm trying to figure out how, how far is two inches? How much would that be in real life, actual life? So two inches is, I don't know, I've got to figure that out. Now I can rearrange this. Sometimes it's easier to put X on top over here. So I did that. I put X on top over here. I just flipped them, basically, and moved sides. So um, let's see, what can we do here? Well, I want x by itself, so I'll multiply by 2. But I have to multiply the other side by 2. So what I have is 4 times 2, that's 8, 8 thirds, which is the same thing as 2 and, let's see, 2 and 2 thirds? two and two-thirds. If you were to make this a decimal, two-thirds is 0.66. So it'd be 2.6 and then you know, we just carry on. So either answer would be correct. 
All right, let's look at the last one. And on the last one, two centimeters to 16 meters. And we want to find out how much three centimeters is in actual life. This is just on paper. What is it in actual life? So again, I'm going to flip things around. So that's like this. So I just flipped it, flipped them both, but you have to do it with both of them. You can't just, and again, you want the units lined up. So, you know, this right here is meters, meters over centimeters, meters over centimeters. It's got to match. So let's see, I will multiply by three. And that's gone. I'll multiply this side by three. And, oh, look, you can reduce things right away because two goes into 16. Two goes in here once, two goes in 16, eight. So eight times three, well, that's 24. So the answer is 24 meters.